Hi friends, I thought I would just give you an update on Hope with Heidi Limited. So what began with hiring a hall to gather and pray for those affected by the floods that began in Lismore in early 2022 became the acronym HOPE, House of Prayer and Encounter. Since then, every four weeks, we have gathered in that same hall and prayed for our community, our city and nation, particularly focusing on the northern beaches uh, to see or be the change for our youth, um, the elderly, single parents, and those lonely and isolated. Declaring that the Northern Beaches is not known for being the Insular Peninsula, but we have a new name. The Northern Beaches are known for being the Northern Outreaches, that we are people that are outward focused. Hope for the Harvest was also birthed. We have so many seeds full of hope and love in so many simple ways, by weekly prayer, giving away flowers to passers-by at local shops on Valentine's Day. We've given away clothes, Christmas hampers, hampers for single mums, hampers for those doing it tough, and almost a thousand copies of Shining Light in the Dark prayers and devotionals. On the 20th of June, 2022, a year ago, we became a charity. Wow, a year ago. Now, was I planning on starting a charity? No, it just kind of evolved. So God launched Hope, Hope with Heidi as a charity, a Christian faith-based charity. To date, Hope is going out through the airwaves. We share the good news of Jesus through the media. Here in Australia and overseas, um, by Radio Hope with Heidi, partners with the Hope Media Group, which covers radio stations in Sydney, and on the Sunshine Coast and Gold Coast. Hope Podcasts can be found on various podcasting platforms like Apple, Spotify, and Amazon. We've done three series. The first series titled Take a Minute of Hope with Heidi. It's a minute of hope and encouragement that applies to your everyday life and brings you closer to God. The second series is called Anchored in Hope, uh, a short three-minute podcast applying biblical principles to anchor you further further in hope. And the third, possibly my favorite, Hope Through Biblical Figures. Uh, it's more of a series on individuals in the Bible like Job, David, Joseph, Deborah, and the Apostle Paul. We often think of characters in the Bible as larger than life and they, you know, they become legends to us. And it's easy to forget that these were ordinary men and women just like you and me with their own struggles and their own shortcomings, but their lives bring us hope. Currently in the pipeline, the youth edition of Shining Light in the Dark, Prayers and Devotionals is about to go to print, will soon be in print, and I can't wait to get this devotional into the hands and hearts of the youth on the northern beaches and young adults. So Hope just put on the first of many prayer retreats and Hope is taking its first Israel Hope Tour in January 2024, a journey of hope in his heartland. So I'm really excited to see what God, God will continue to do with Hope, House of Prayer and Encounter, and through the charity Hope with Heidi. My passion or our passion is letting people know that there is always hope, a living and life-saving hope found in Jesus Christ and seeing countless lives transformed one life at a time. So thank you so much for your support, for sowing your love, your prayers, your friendship, your time and your finances into Hope with Heidi. Thank you. God bless you.